All right, guys, I'm just going to show you a little bit about the equipment. We're going to do the pucking today. So I ball milled again some of my vines that I got from my pressed powder, my screen powder. Um, you can always reuse stuff if you're not making what you want. I'm using this dab press, uh, 40 millimeter. Got it on, on uh, Amazon. It's really well machined. I'm not sure what it's for. Originally made for like marijuana or something. I don't know. I don't run in those circles. But it's a very well machined hammer die. Of course, we're not going to be hammering, but we are going to be pressing, and that's what we're going to use. Um, the other thing we have is I'm using a very cheap. Uh, this is a Jags brand, but it's the same as the Harbor Freight. I had to cut off this much of the ram to get it in there. I have very little space. Uh, I would recommend getting the 12 ton instead of the 6 ton. 6 tons enough, but it's just the space between here and there. So I cut this off. So this is actually like an I beam, so I can get underneath uh, this part to do the pressing. So that's what I'm using. Uh, trying to do this, like I said, cheaply. Uh, this is like a laundry cup. I just use that to scoop some of the powder. Uh, and I'm going to put it in the die. So I like to use one gloved hand, one regular hand. It's actually not very messy because we're keeping it so dry. Just maybe giving it maybe one squirt. Let me get my water. And this is just tap water. Just to cut down, just to cut down on the dust. That's very dusty. Just give it another squirt. Yeah, all right, I'll just. You need a lot less water compared to screening. Screening, you need a lot more. This is just make it feel like kind of like dry dirt instead of like really floaty dust, just dirt. So now all I'm going to do is scoop about about that much. It's going to go in my die, so it's hard to do this with the camera. I'm going to get it in there, and then I'll show you how I press it. All right, guys, I've got it in the press. I'll try to give you the best angle. You can see it goes up in there. It's just about as much room as I can have. Uh, this is a steel die, but I'm going slow, so I don't suspect there'd be any sparks. So I'm trying to drive the ram down. Feel a little resistance. I'm going to give it the beans. Whoa. Okay, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Give it some pumps. Basically, I'm going to get it as far as I can get it. Which is right there. So I get it um, as far as it'll go, and I'm going to wait a few minutes. Uh, some people wait five minutes. I'm just going to wait eh, a minute or so. Then I'm going to give it one more pump, and it'll start to um, crunch a little bit more. So we're trying to take that plaster, or the, um, I'm sorry, the sulfur, and make it plasticize. So make it turn into our binder. And uh, I've done this before, and it works pretty well. Uh, we're going to give it another minute. We're going to give it another pump. And then we're going to uh, have to extract it. And that's a little tricky. I'll show you how I do that. So let me give it one more good pump here. Let's see if it gives me more space. That's about another half a pump there. So I'm going to give it a little time to set, and then we'll see what comes out. 
Alright, so now you can see the solid pock of powder. The hard part is going to be getting it out. So what I'm going to have to do is make that ram hit just on the edge. Just on the edge. So this is really stuck in there. I would not recommend a hammering of any kind. So I'm going to use the press. Probably won't be able to show you. But light over there. Okay. So I'm kind of doing it blind. I'm looking through this little little hole here. You can see a little slot. That's what I'm looking through. I'm just gonna line up the uh, the ram with just the edge. see it but I'm have to move this out just a little bit just a little bit uh, we got it so you're gonna hear it you're gonna hear it kind of crack there you hear that that is because the inside of the machining has some ridges on it. That's what that is. And we're good. Okay, let's check it out guys. There it is. First puck, it's kind of a thick one. But I'm just going to repeat this process. Put that somewhere to dry. Now because I used water and not alcohol, I can use it in a dehydrator. I would not recommend it with uh, alcohol vapors. You could easily cause an explosion. So there we have it. One puck down. And probably six, seven, eight more to go.